Yes, so good day and welcome once again. It's always a pleasure being here. I'm always like to be here. It's the best place to be. It's the best place to be at all times. So I'm gonna be short with this video. So I hope you basically uh, actually learn something from that. I'm not trying to disrupt your whatever you do. Well, yes, I want to disrupt it. So let us read from Jeremiah 10, 3, 5. The reason for that is because we are living in a time where people are doing the exact thing that the scriptures say that we should not do. Okay. So let us read Jeremiah 10, 3 to 5 and see what it said here. Okay. Thus saith Yah, learn not the ways of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Actually, uh, I said three, but we start from two. But anyway, it is there and it is no problem. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. So, the customs are useless, you know, because it doesn't even make sense that a fellow will go in a forest uh, buy a tree these days around your Christmas time, put it inside your house, in your veranda, in your yard, decorate it with lights. What purpose does that serve? Okay? What purpose does it serve you? You don't know the purpose it serves. So you have that inside your house, you decorate it with silver and gold and pretty lights and uh, lights all over your house and you think that is something really, really good what you're doing. That is nonsense. Because according to the scripture, right? According to the scripture, when people cut on those trees and they do what they do, they say it stand up as a palm tree. That means people are actually doing this thing thinking they will worship like a god because people used to worship those things, okay? In Babylon, long before the birth of Christ, right? You see, the trees, they speak not, right? They, you have to carry them because they can't move. They cannot go. The scriptures say, do not be afraid for they cannot do evil, neither, they can, do, neither can they do good. In other words, you could see definitely that these trees used to be treated as gods. So people will gather around these trees, you know, and stuff, maybe put their, 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 their offerings and stuff around the trees and stuff like that and they worship it as a god people used to be doing that but then the scriptures say that this thing is vain and this thing is useless you don't have to be doing that but he the scripture is telling us that do not follow the ways of the hidden because it's the heathens that usually do these things so the scripture tells us that we should not be doing that but somehow we find ourselves doing these things since after we come from the so-called chattel slavery this last rounds year. We didn't used to be doing that before we came into slavery. You understand? But now we pick up all the ways of the heathens. We talk like the heathens. We walk like the heathens. We treat each other like the heathens. We, we worship the same idols like the heathen. The scriptures said, that when we are take, we are taken into into slavery, we'll be worshiping wood and stone. You understand? That is what we are doing. The trees that you put in front of your house, making it look in such a way like you worship that. Technically, you worshiping it, and you don't even know. You see, that is the problem with our people right now. We worshiping Satan inadvertently we don't know that is what we are doing you know recently i'm looking at all these lights and i'm trying to cipher out now where all these lights this whole idea of all these colorful lights come from and then i remember the scripture says satan is an angel of light you understand 
So when you do so and you invoke all these demonic forces, you understand, in your life, you, you, you invoke all these demonic forces on your country, you never go forward. It will always be problems and destruction. As a matter of fact, I think our people are totally confused. You see, it's like they're thinking they are worshipping our Elohim, but they don't realize that in all their actions, they are worshipping Satan. It's as simple as that. You know, if we want to say, okay, like, if that was the truth, if the truth of the matter is, let's say, worshipping and keeping the birth of Christ was the truth, you understand? And then we have to celebrate that. But then we live in the way we live in. It's just a joke we're making. Because we will do all that. And throughout the year, we live like we crucified him whole year. So then at the end of the day, what is the purpose? How does it serve what Christ stands for? How does it serve what It doesn't. And that only is to show you that this thing is an abomination because this thing has nothing to do with Yahushua HaMashiach. Absolutely nothing. Right? It is stated in the scripture that we should not be get carried away with drinking all this alcohol and eating all this pork and these nasty animals and stuff. During the time when they celebrating the birth of, they say that Jesus, their Savior, that is the time they eat the most pork and they drink the most rum. You see, that alone is to show you that the whole idea of this thing is pagan. It is clear to see. Pagan is the people that enjoy all this pork meat and this wine and this debauchery and all this nasty stuff. In Babylon, that is how they used to live and all the celebration. Hence the reason when they give Daniel this kind of food, they say, no, we don't eat that. Because that is the kind of food, this nasty pig meat, and all these things that these people and them eat in those days. In Babylon. And this tradition come right down. So then when you say you're making cake, and you're, 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 you're boiling ham, and you're buying rum, and all this kind of stuff for, for this holiday, this pagan holiday, you are committing an abomination. Simple as that. So... I'm saying this that at least we should check ourselves, you know, we should see how our life is, you know, and, uh, you know, what we should do to better it, you know, because most of the things we are doing, I think we are just pulling down more costs on our community and stuff like that, you know, that is what we are doing, man. We, we seems to, we seems to adopt the ways of the hiddens, you know. You know, in such a way, and we are happy about it, and we are not actually trying to find our way, you know, the way that the Mosai taught us, you know. We just go in the way of wickedness, and we think that is right and proper, but the truth of the matter, it is not. You know, it is not. So we have to wake up, you know. There are times when you have to give up, you have to give it up, you know. You have to give it up. You must give it up. Right? You should give it up at this time. Because we live in a time where there are all this information out there. If you don't know, you ask a question. You go do some search, do some research. And then you'll get down to it, you know. But then, most of us don't really like it. Most of us, when we tell, uh, tell you about it, you know, you say, Oh, well, this is for, you know, just to make the children happy. If Christmas and ties and worshipping a tree and putting on this light is to make your children happy, then you are not growing your children in the way they should go. You are actually initiating your children into a pagan custom. You are actually pointing your children to idol worship and Satanism. So when your children reach 10 and 12 years and your children tell you them is homosexuals and them is lesbian, you are the one who put in this demonic spirit into those children. You have to grow up your children in the way they should go. But if when your child is small, you teach them how to worship a tree and how to see lights and how to be, be idolistic 
and all this kind of nonsense you are actually killing your children you are eating your children the scripture say that you are eating your children that is what you are doing you are destroying your children we have to wake up and see what is going on here we have to know and i'm not talking about just simply believing we have to know most of us we are too lazy to do our our research we have to know it's a serious game that is playing here this thing is no joke you understand so anyway i wish that you know we will get in i mean in such a place that we could just abolish the whole idea of this xmos and all this carnival thing i wish we could reach that point where we could just abolish it and be the kind of priesthood that our elohim say he chose us to be peace brothers peace sisters